Blog Show. Blog Show. Welcome to the Blog Show, your weekly sports blogging boondoggle. I'm your host, Jamie Mottram. This is your other host, Dan Steinberg. That's right, Jamie. Thank you very much. As always, we're going to take you through the seedy underbelly of sports blogging. You might remember last time we were in these chairs, Jamie and I did a little dancing to the Brett Favre boogie. Today, crank that. A little soldier boy? A little soldier boy. We saw this on Every Day Should Be Saturday, and it turns out that the Texas football team kind of does a little crank that soldier boy on the side. They all did that together, and we were going to do that again, an, uh, another dance routine to the delight of our female viewers at home. Hi, Mom, Grandma. I'm sure you enjoyed the uh, Brett Favre boogie, but I don't think we could do the soldier boy. Jockey on them haters, man. Well, while we're on the subject of college football, let's show you some great photos from the world of college football, because to make television magic, we do need great visuals. First up, from the West Virginia sideline, this is the world's first recorded 535-pound Dingle Berry. That's right, it's defensive lineman, lineman Johnny Dingle and Scooter Berry seated next to one another. We saw that one on MrIrrelevant.com. And really, what other college football team would a guy named Scooter play for other than West Virginia? It's wild, and, and it's certainly wonderful. It seems too good to be true. Another Every Day Should Be Saturday photo. This was of a SEC official apparently getting carted off by the authorities. Something he did wrong. I he guess. was a member of the chain game. Literally, literally of the chain game. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think I stole that joke from Every Day Should Be Saturday. But they're the best college football blog on the web, so we can steal jokes. But no, I think it's from. true, though. He really was on the chain game. Yeah. Or I'm not sure what, the, really what, not sure what the crime was, though, that had him get carted off. Anyway, staying in college football, uh, obviously Notre Dame is over so far, and they might be over a long time. So Notre Dame haters have come out and made a satirical version of ESPN.com. It's called NDSPN.com. It's hard to say, sort of. Easy for me, though. And the entire, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a send up of ESPN.com, and everything is about Notre Dame, I guess. It, my, my favorite thing was a little video clip for uh, God Reacts to His Team's Latest Debacle. And then you also have some headlines uh, Charlie Weiss to start at QB next week, and also uh, quarterback Jimmy Clausen looks like an emu. That's right. And speaking of Charlie Weiss, I guess we saw his MySpace page. Sort of a satirical MySpace page via JoeSportsFan.com, and and this is kind of making fun largely of his weight, which seems to be the one thing that you can safely make fun of people. Well, that's for. cool. I mean, his quote on the fake MySpace page is, uh, "Did somebody say pancakes?" <laughs> and also, his friends include uh, quarterbacks Tom Brady, Brady Quinn, Jimmy Clausen, but enemies include the cardiologist Tyrone Willingham and shirt buttons. That's right. His zodiac sign is popcorn. I mean, Capricorn. <laughs> all right. Well, before moving all to the rest of the world of sports. Let's stay in college football for one last tidbit. It came from this Saturday night's Alabama-Georgia game. In the first overtime, before uh, Georgia was about to take the field and answer Alabama, ESPN's Mike Patrick had this very odd play-by-play -play call. I have an important question. Go ahead. What is Brittany doing with her life? Who? Brittany. Brittany who? Spears. What is she doing with her career? Why do we care at this point? Is she here? <laughs> I don't think so. We saw that one on awfulannouncing.com. They grabbed the video because they're awesome at what they do. And Mike Patrick is having a season for the ages in the broadcast booth because in the preseason on this very network, Comcast Sportsnet, during a Redskins preseason game, he was pitching Papa John's Pizza with Joe Theismann when this snafu occurred. And trust me, he'll not only eat the hey. pizza, he'll munch on the box. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, that was pretty hot. And speaking of televised sports sexiness, via bugsandcranks.com, we saw this interesting scouting report of the Cubs' Steve Traxel that talks about tossing salads and, and hot dogs get your hot dogs. It kind of made me a little uncomfortable. I'm not sure what that has to do with pitching but it sure sounds sexy. But not as sexy as the pictures that emanated from x17online.com last week of boxer Oscar de la Hoya wearing high heels and fishnet stockings. And we're not really sure if these are totally real photos, but we do have some real sports dress-up photos. These are featuring Boston Red Sox pitchers Dice K and Okajima. One's dressed like a Teletubby and one is dressed like a pirate. We saw that on umpbump.com. Dice K looks ready for October baseball. Speaking of pirates, the Pirates rookies were getting hazed in San Diego and gaslampball.com, a Padres blog, has the pics of them dressed up as, among other things, Miss America and a Hooters girl. And also, I think, Pocahontas. And there was some red fishnet involved and also some belly shots. And the Major League Piracy stories never seemed to end because it was International Talk Like a Pirate Day last week. Of course it was. And, and instead of just kind of being boring and saying, R and stuff like that, Bugs and Cranks kind of expanded this to talk like a Pittsburgh Pirate Day. Yes, BugsandCranks.com, those dudes are awesome. Some of the key phrases that you'll need to know on Talk Like a Pittsburgh Pirate Day are five-year rebuilding plan and bobblehead season ticket plan. Very funny. Speaking of bobbleheads, I guess, sportsbybrooks.com mentioned that minorleaguebaseball.com was having a 
contest for the best minor league promotion of the year. One of the choices I really liked featured a bobblehead of a guy named Robert Leroy Head, which is Bob L. Head. And it was a real likeness of his head. This is the Portland Beavers right. in August, and, and he's from Iowa. I kind of like the office space night that we talked about months ago. But on the bobblehead tip, uh, I guess it's TBS in concert with Major League Baseball is trying to promote their postseason uh, broadcasts. And they're actually putting a huge 10-foot, 600 bobblehead, 600-pound bobblehead named Postseason Pete, Pete in select major Major League cities. I think all they're doing two, two oh, in each major league city. Two. Yeah, six hundred pounds. That's kind of like Dimitri Young proportions. <laughs> but speaking of, speaking of sports memorabilia, I guess we, we learned that a genuine urinal from the Detroit T Tigers clubhouse is for sale on the internet. Where else? <laughs> yes, and it's from uh, the Tigers Stadium urinal. It's not just any urinal. It's the piss trough that was in the Tigers clubhouse. I mean, Rob Deere, Pete and Cavilia, just blessing the trough, and you can have it for seven hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, there's only been eleven bids so far. And speaking of tigers and urinals, let's go right to this shot of Tiger Woods at a golf tournament. Tigers in the crapper. This is something you will not see on Sports Center tonight. Nothing is sacred. Poor guy. <laughs> and all that talk of urine got me so excited that I kind of forgot to mention. We saw the Tiger Stadium urinal from BigTenTailgate.com. BigTenTailgate.com. We saw Tiger in the outhouse. 100% injury rate. .com. Yes, and that was at the U.S. Open. Just some golf tournament. That's right. But anyways, major development here at Blog Show. We've opened up our own T-shirt shop online. If you want to wear the fresh, progressive fashions that Steins and I don each and every week here on Comcast Sportsnet, just Google Blog Show T-shirt shop. How many have you sold so far, Jamie? We actually uh, this week we sold uh, zero. Awesome. Yeah, so we aren't covering budget quite yet. Cool. And before we get to our YouTube of the week, we'd like to offer a quick blog show congratulations to Mr. Matt. We've mentioned him many times on the show. He was inducted into the Mascot Hall of Fame last week. Congratulations, Mr. Matt. Good for you. And Mr. Matt's okay, but I prefer the Oakland A's mascot, Stumper the Elephant. We've shown him on blog show before, but this week he is our YouTube Clip of the Week superstar via Fanhouse. Here's Stumper the Elephant getting hyphy on the beatbox. <laughs> 